March 26, 2001. Marks the beginning of Marky Teachings. Yes. Where else but UWSP, University of Wisconsin, Stevens Point, will you find Monarchy Teachings? Nowhere else. That's why it rules. Sponsored by Federation Without Television. For more information on Federation Without Television, email FEDWITTL at UWSP.edu. The first event of this exciting week is going to be Monarchy Trivia with prizes. Sadly enough, there's no one here to receive these wonderful prizes. Alas. Well, before we get into the trivia itself, we'd like to tell you that before the trivia, I was up in front of the University Center chanting away. Yes, I was chanting away. What was I saying? I was saying some rather unique stuff. I was saying, hey, hey, ho, ho, democracy is much too slow. Hey, hey, ho, ho, monarchy is the way to go. Also, I was saying, what do we want? Absolute monarchy. What do we want it now? What do we want? Power concentrated into one individual. When do we want it now? What do we want? No freedoms, no liberties. When do we want it now? They was saying, long live the king, long live the queen. God save the king. Long live the Kaiser. Stuff like that. Think of what else was I saying? Um, my voice is a little bit sore from doing that, but hopefully I won't lose it. That was not it's not good to lose your voice. I don't like to do that. Ah, okay. Sadly people are missing out on fun end prizes. And they could learn some interesting facts if they didn't know already. It's going to be lots of fun, but not, not to be deterred. At any rate, we shall read you the questions for your entertainment. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Oh, I guess I'm colder. Other events of monarchy teachings are tonight at 7 p.m. is monarchism and impromptu rap, music composing. Hopefully, folks will show up. And then on Tuesday, the 27th at 12:40 is. History of the Monarchy, Tuesday at 6 p.m., Political Perspectives of the Monarchy, Wednesday at 12.30, Arguments for and Against Monarchism, and on Thursday, 12.40, is Monarchy Poster Creation Get Together. Yes. Now, I go to the folder with the questions. All right. There was going to be 50 questions, ranging in difficulty from hard, medium, to easy. There are going to be awarded different point values. Three for hard, two for easy, two for medium, one for easy. And the way it was going to go is each person, questions would rotate, and the first person would get a question. And if they got the answer right, they got the number of points. But if they got it wrong, the person next to them could answer it for a lesser number of points unless it was true or false, which would not be worth answering the second time because it would be way too easy. Um, so that's how that was going to go. These are rather interesting questions. What I will do is I will read the question, then I will read the answer. Oh, you probably want to know what the prizes were. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We had two good prizes. Okay. First prize for the winner was going to be Kosh Ba, all natural toasted couscous, giant pasta pearls, wild mushroom from our great vegetarian dinner cooking company, Pop Sam. They rock. I have a lot of these. They're good. So whoever didn't show up, if just one person would have shown up, they could have got first place, so they missed this. Second place was going to be this book I got at Roman Shale from a professor that used to teach at this university called Moffat. Um, it's called For Whites Only by Robert W. Terry. I did not read it, um, so I don't know how good it is, but that would have been second place. And third prize would have been this hockey mask. 
so he could look like Jason. However, it's really a flimsy plastic, so I would not actually want to play hockey with it. Either if you got a puck shot in it, it would not protect you very well. You'd have a lot of pain. So that would have been third prize. I got this at the 70, 70 store that closed down and they had this huge liquidation sale. This cost like a quarter. Oh well, people miss that. So now, now we have the questions. Hopefully people will come to the exciting events tonight and the other days of this week that we have events. Uh, also, a professor will be speaking. Um, if it works, he originally was going to speak, but then I gave him the wrong date. So he's going to, if he works, he's going to speak for arguments for and against monarchism. So hopefully lots of folks will come to that. Okay, the first question is, from 1848 to 1918, what was the name of the German monarch? That would be Kaiser. Yes, Kaiser Wilhelm. First and the second. Okay, question two. Before 1917, what were the Russian monarchs called? The czars. Question three. True or false? The United States is a monarchy. Of course, that's false. Question four. What is the title of the royalty motif fast food joint on Division Street in Stevens Point across from Big Kmart? Burger King. Which hat I was wearing to chant in, and I was wearing it as I waited for people to come in here, and I changed it to Veggie Burger King. Also, I'd like to have this opportunity to say that anyone who wants a copy of the Monarchy Get Together way back in February 1st, they can have it. We recorded it, and it's really interesting. Definitely entertaining. Question five. Which is higher in the hierarchy? King or Duke? King, of course. What member of the royal family resided in a tobacco can? Prince Albert. Remember the pranksters in the 50 that said, call people up and say, hey, do you have Prince Albert in a can? It'd be like a store and say, yes, yes we do. And they go, well, you better let him out. politician coined the phrase every man a king Huey Long I believe he died in 1937 question 8 which singer sings this song on his wildflower album it's good to be king that would be Tom Petty Tom Petty likes his Mary Jane he sings lots of songs about Mary Jane. He's been smoking it for a long time. Question 9. Which member of the royal family died on the same day as Mother Teresa? Princess Diana. And a lot of people got upset because Princess Diana got more attention than Mother Teresa. So maybe people still do have respect for monarchy after all. Question 10. Who was king of England during the American Revolutionary War? King George. Yes. He was called a tyrant. And he erected a multitude of offices and sent hither swarms to something and something. That was in the Declaration of Independence. So the, the dudes in the United States, they said, yo, we're down with this king. He sucks. We're not down with him. He sucks. So we need a new government without kings. And we haven't had a king here since, which was actually asked earlier, if you're paying attention. Who said, Ronald Reagan is a lousy president, but he'd make a great king. 
Tip O'Neill. Which animal is endowed with distinguished title? King of the Jungle. No, it's not the ant. It's not the horse. It's not the cow. It's the lion. The prince of what country did Grace Grace Kelly wed? That would be Prince of Morocco. I hope there's adequate time for you to like give your answers when you're out guessing. Who was Princess Di's husband before the divorce? Charles. They had marital problems, therefore they're divorced. Question 15. What product is known as King of the Bears? That'd be Budweiser. Budweiser, King of Bears. What a dubious distinction to have posed upon yourself. The King of Bears. It would be cool to be known as the King of Straight Edge, but not the King of Bears. Question 16. Which is bigger, queen size or king size? King size. I think that should change, actually. That has a sexist bias to it, that, you know, the king is therefore bigger and deserving more than the queen. And I think that should change. Question 17. King Tut was a king of what country? Egypt. A long, long, long time ago. Question 18. The quote, the kingdom of God is inside you, is attributed to whom? Leo Tolstoy. I saw this book in the library and I was thinking, oh, cool, it's going to be like atheistic book saying that, you know, you can be your own messiah, your own savior, but no, it seems kind of religious, so I didn't read it. Question 19. Which founding parents wanted to call George Washington your highness? That would be John Adams, who became our second president. People didn't like that because they said, hey, you know, we just broke away from the monarchy in England, you know, and we want to be a different type of place. We want to worship our public officials, you know. Question 20. What king of the Bible was notorious for persecution of Christians who later converted and his new name rhymed with the first name? That would be King Saul, who later changed his name to King Paul, or to Paul. And some of his stuff lays the foundation for the New Testament. And the Christian religion, for that matter. What organization at UWSP sponsored Monarchy Get Together on February 1st, 2001? Actually, I said that earlier. If you're paying attention, you would cut that. Yes! Ever, ever novel, ever progressive federation without television. Drum roll for that organization. Always on the vanguard of new ideas. Question 22. What was the name of the Sex Pistols number one in the charts? Anti-monarchy song which faced censorship in the UK. If it was the UK during that time, I like I couldn't say the title. So what was it? God Save the Queen. It's a pretty cool song. I like it. It's a good beat, but, you know, if you're into the monarchy, it's like dissing the monarchy, ripping on it. Question 23. Which Archduke's assassination spirit World War I? That would be Franz Ferdinand. Question 24. Name what other event of monarchy teachings. Again, person was paying attention earlier, they would know that. And there's a lot of them, so I won't read them all. All the possible answers. Question 25. Vaughn is a noble surname in what country? Germany. Question 26. Which English king abdicated the throne in 1930? 
six. This is a tough one. King Ed the eighth. Actually, you have to say King Edward. You know, kings aren't like usually all about yo Ed. You know, it's, it's like you have to have a full name and say it as elegantly as possible. King Edward. Well, again, Princess Di was Princess Di, not Princess Diana. So maybe that's not exactly how it is, but I don't think he'd can anyone call him Ed. Yo, Ed. He had to step down. Question 27. Under the monarchies in Germany and Russia, or the dictatorships in both these countries, which regimes were ultimately more repressive? It was the non-monarchist monarchist regimes. Yes. I read about this and made this point in this one book I was reading about Hitler. I think it was about the Nuremberg trials and it was saying that even though conditions weren't very great during the Kaiser's time, it was better than Hitler's time. Obviously, like his, Hitler's regime was like probably the most oppressive and most stifling of freedom in all of history, so it can't get any worse than that. And also, the same thing happened in Russia. The conditions during the time of the Tsars was not very good for a lot of the people. But it was more oppressive when Stalin got in there, and especially in those gulags. Those are worse than the gulags and the czars. Now, naturally, be there's no gulags at all, but the czar had a better system of gulags than Stalinist Russia, I do believe. Night, question 28. What year did monarch... Did the modern Emperor of Germany, Wilhelm II, abdicate the throne? 1918. Yes, at the end of World War II. Then he went over to Holland and he got exiled there. He died in 1941. True or false? I don't know how to pronounce this. The Weimar Republic was a name for the Greece monarchist government. That would be false. That is the name of the democracy, or more correctly, the republic, tried in Germany after World War One, And it wasn't very stable. It was a very noble attempt at democracy, and then that's how Hitler got into power, by undermining that by a weak provision known as Article 48. Hitler talk is coming up too. August 9th, 7 p.m., room 125, 125A, sponsored by this organization. Question 30. Which actor played Ralph in the sensational intellectual film, King Ralph? John Goodman! Okay. Question 31. Which hip swaggering rocketer and roller was known as a king? Elvis Presley. With his blue suede shoes. What royal business sells milk products by cops on Church Street in Plover, Wisconsin? That would be the Dairy Queen. Yes, the Dairy Queen. Too many dairy products they sell. Question 33. In a poker game, which is the highest card, generally? King, Queen, or Jack? King! King. King. Uh, I wish I knew more card games. Card games are fun. Electronic card games are good too. Got a solitaire game on my computer at my apartment. I like playing regular cards though too. And I have a bunch of card game books. My grandma was a card shark. And cards are a good thing. I think maybe our society should play more cards. Yes, more cards. Question 34. What is the monarchist title of the British National Anthem? That would be God Save the Queen. Which, like I mentioned earlier, the Sex Pistols were dissing that. They didn't think the Queen should be saved. Question 35. And I hope people know the answer to this. True or false? John Birch decided he advocates an absolute monarchism as a form of government, as the best form of government. False. 
John Birch decides a right-wing organization in the United States who hates communism and they're all about gung-ho Americanism so they do not want monarchy that's definitely false and incidentally they spoke at the Liberation Conference which was ill-attended and only one person other than the speakers there managed to show up now this was on April 14th of 2000 and it was a very very nice day which we have shitty weather now it's almost the end of March but that was a very nice day in April and they had the Eagle Fair and they had a CNR symposium so and they had trivia coming up so all that took away from the cool event that was going on but there's some good speaker interaction there but it was a very very miserable event true or false the great or absolute monarchist union of internet of interested patrons actually exists that is false although I wish it did you know here's something to ponder why are there neo-nazis but not neo mar but not monarchists for the second time today when I was trying to say that I butchered it why that's something to think, to think about I mean you would think Neo-Nazis are like one of the most extreme forms of government, so like a less extreme form of government, you think Lee Stone would advocate it, but no. No. Except for monarchy teachings at this. That's something good to think about, you know. This organization, folks. Hey, nobody's listening, but I'm having a good time. It's gonna be a damn good tape. I ain't gonna quit anytime soon. True or false? James Gerard Watson was a rabbit, rabbit, pro-monarchist in Russia. That would be false. He was ambassador to Germany during World War One, and I listened to a really interesting speech by him on the CD box set. Great speeches, and he has some really interesting things he say, and they're like. He starts out like, I know it is difficult for America to realize the great magnitude of the war we're in. And then he talks about, you know, he says that the Kaiser thinks the Germans are going to take up arms. You know, and he says, most Germans in America have shown splendid loyalty. And he says, but if there's some that are not loyal, there's only one thing we can do with them. We can hogtie them. Give them back their rags and their wooden shoes and ship them back to the Kaiser. And then he also was saying that, he said, I've been all the way through the Alleghenies, been over here and over here in America, and I've been exposed to a lot of vicious, biting creatures. And he goes, but I know none would be as vicious and as squealing and as biting as a fat German-American hog type being sent back to the Kaiser. Okay. Who wrote the book, The Kaiser as I know him? A, the Kaiser's top general. B, the Kaiser's podiatrist. C, the Kaiser's dermatologist. D, the Kaiser's butler. Or E, the Kaiser's dentist. That would be E, the Kaiser's dentist. Excellent, excellent book. It was written in, I believe, 1918. Excellent book. Very, very interesting. I'm glad I read it. I highly recommend it. Um, we got like, the copy in our university from 1918, so it's an older book. Oh, it's marvelous. Very super, super interesting. Um, really interesting. From an American dentist who served the Kaiser, and he had some interesting discussions. He actually voiced some American, pro American sentiments, you know. And him and this Kaiser had some interesting talks. Alright. Who is known as King of Kings, Lord of Lords? That would be Jesus Christ. Question 40. Which hairless rock star had a hit called The Emperor's New Clothes? Sinead O'Connor. She's not really doing much anymore, you know. She was kind of popular for a while, but then faded out. I thought the music was kind of cool, you know. You know, I kind of liked it a little bit. I mean, it wasn't like the greatest music in the world, but, it, you know, it was kind of catchy. Had good stuff into it, you know? Question 40. Which royal title book follows 2 Samuel in the Protestant 
Bible. The Bible. That would be kings. You know, I once had all the Bible books memorized when I was in Iwana. I was a good Iwana kid. I got the Timothy Award, which is like one of the highest distinctions. The word is Iwana. Iwana, approved workmen are not ashamed. I'm going to make this pledge and these games and Bible verses and all that. Uh, approved workmen are not ashamed. Boys and girls in the service claim, hey, Iwana, I'm the march for you. Hey, Iwana, holy friendship, building lives. The word of God, Iwana, stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag. Which stands for the Iwana Club. His goal is to reach boys and girls to the gospel of Christ and to train them to serve Him. Okay. That was like the song and like the pledge. Okay, and once I was like, I was uh, a character in this uh, book, um, in this play where my dad played God, who was about um, salty. Yeah, okay. Question 42. Which is the highest of the British nobility? A. Marquis, if I pronounce that wrong, I'm sorry. Earl or Viscount? That would be Marquis. I found that wrong in the dictionary. In the dictionary! Okay, question 40. What color was the monarchist army during the Russian Civil War of 1917? That would be white. They were fighting the Reds. And as we all know, the Reds won. I was I was working at uh, our conference track meet doing the high jump and I had a flag, red and white. I saw somebody I knew and I said, hey, you know what this flag reminds me of? The Russian Civil War. The whites and the Reds. I raised the white flag, you know, several times, four or five times in two days, but like the red flag only once. So I probably meant the whites won. But no, the Reds won, and then we had Lenin going in there, and Lenin was like this cult figure after he died, and stole Stalin. Stalin wasn't a very nice person, and Khrushchev, and um, Brezhnev, or whoever else was in between, and yeah, and then Gorbachev, and then Boris Yeltsin after communism fell, and I don't know who's leading now, and they're having, they're in chaos. Okay. Question 44. Who is known as the Prince of Peace? That would be Jesus Christ again. Uh, but some of the teachings are really not principles. Okay. Question 45. True or false? Under the German monarch in the 19th and early 20th century, Germany had a worldly renowned political system. That would be false because like, a lot of people didn't like it. And that's why the Weimar, Weimar, however you say it, Republic came into place when, after World War One, because the Allies like, wanted like a good government there, you know, good democratic government. Von Hindenburg, the war general, was president of it. Partially his senality and the whole setup of the thing was what got Adolf Hitler into power. Okay. What former royalty named Rockstar wants to party like it's 1999? That would be Prince. But you can't call him Prince anymore. It's just a symbol in his way of trying to be weird. Question 47. What Beavis and Butthead spin-off stars a lovable character, Tom Anderson? King of the Hill. I don't think I've ever actually seen that. Is that like was on the air like after I stopped watching television? Uh, Beavis and Butthead. He used more wit. A lot more wit. So damn crude. Now, Simpsons, that had wit. That can make you, like, really laugh because it was sophisticated. That political humor with Beavis and Butter is just, like, uh, stupid. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> okay. Question 48. Which hard rock band sings the lines, I don't need to be the king of the world, just as long as I'm the hero of this little girl? Warrant. We also think Cherry Pie and In the Sticks. Oh, they're like a hard rock band that was popular in the 80s, but nobody, they're not too popular anymore. And I won't sing any of their songs. Else. Question 49. In Plato's Republic, what is the name of the wise ruling class? Philosopher Kings. Yes. We just talked about that today in philosophy. In fact, Plato's Republic. And instant 
Incidentally and interesting enough, uh, Mussolini read The Republic and according to my philosophy professor and he gained inspiration from it. I asked that question. Was Mussolini aware of the Republic? And the professor said, yes. He said also Nazi Germany was too. All right. Question 50, the last question. Which one of the following is an absolute monarchy? A, Russia, B, United States, C, Belgium, D, India, E, Germany, F, France, G, Morocco, H, Canada, I, England, or J for Denmark? That would be Morocco. There's only like, I believe like three left, really three big absolute monarchies. According to the online encyclopedia, it said Morocco, Saudi Arabia, and the Qatar or something like that, Qatar. However you say that, maybe I can find it for you folks. Well, a lot of monarchy printed out stuff from the internet. You know, you know, you know, you know. Okay. Well, I guess I shall keep the prizes for myself. Oh, it would have been so much fun to give them to people. Alas, alas. Alas, alas. Alas, alas. Well, hope you found these questions rather interesting. You know, long live the tape recorder. Edison Phonograph. Tape recording is cool. Wish I would have thought of this from event one. But, you know, Better late than never, I suppose, you know, we're getting a lot of recorded now. And some of the events we can like kind of do over, even though it's like always good to record everything, but it, you know, it's better than, you know, like we did a fasting talk, you know, that wasn't recorded, we can do that again and record it, you know, so. So hopefully they'll be okay. And hopefully we can still amass a big wide library. Even before like now the trend of recording, there was a couple of things recorded. And Jeff Decker was the one kind of inspired that idea, so he gets credit for that. And I still want to get, if he has, I want to get the copies that he recorded a little bit from the autonomy conference and from the the religious panel. Oh, I think he recorded the whole thing on the religious panel. Oh, I got to get that. From oh, he gave me the Freemasonry tape, which was nice. Why didn't I think of this? Why didn't I think of this? I did write about a lot of events, so it kind of preserves the memory, but it's always best to have it recorded. So, with that being said, I bid you farewell. And I always must remember to long live the monarchy. Monarchy is the absolute best form of government without any alter flaws whatsoever. Goodbye. <laughs>